First of all, thank you all very much for coming out, supporting this series. And second of all, who that? Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty excited if you like football. Can I interrupt you for a second? Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 stay, stay, stay. He, it's an interesting that he would say that because I just got back from New Orleans last night. I was doing auditions for Berkeley in New Orleans. Yeah. 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 It was there. I, we left last night just before it got crazy. It was an insane weekend because Mardi Gras officially doesn't start till next week, but they are already doing parades and partying. So we were there for Mardi, part of Mardi Gras and the Super Bowl, and everybody was insane. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> so um, we'd like to also acknowledge that this is uh, Black History Month. So we're going to start off with a poem by James Weldon Johnson, who was uh, a prominent poet during the time of the Harlem Renaissance, after which I will invite my colleagues to join me. This is called The Creation. And God stepped out on space, and she looked around and said, I'm lonely, I'll make me a world. And as far as the eye of God could see, darkness covered everything, blacker than a hundred midnights down in a cypress swamp. <laughs> then God smiled, and the light broke, and the darkness rolled up on one side, and the light stood shining on the other. And God said, that's good. <laughs> Then God reached out and took the ladder in her hands, and she rolled that ladder around in her hands until she made the sun. And she set that sun ablazing in the heavens. And the light that was left from making the sun, God gathered up into a shining ball and flung against the darkness, spangling the night with the moon and the stars. <laughs> then God herself stepped down, and the sun was on her right hand, and the moon was on her left. The stars were clustered about her head, and the earth was under her feet. And God walked. And where she trod, her footsteps hollowed the valleys out and bulged the mountains up. <laughs> then God stopped and looked and saw that the earth was hot and barren. So God stepped over to the edge of the world and spat out the seven seas. She batted her eyes and the lightnings flashed. She clapped her hands and the thunders rolled and the waters above the earth came down. The cooling waters came down. Then the green grass sprouted and the little red flowers blossomed. The pine tree pointed her finger to the sky and the oak spread out his arm. The lakes cuddled down in the hollows of the ground, and the rivers ran to the sea. Then God smiled again, and a rainbow appeared and curled itself around her shoulder. Then God raised her arm, and she waved her hand over the sea and over the land, and she said, Bring forth! Bring forth! And quicker than God could drop her hand, fishes and fowls and beasts and birds swam the rivers and the seas, roamed the forest and the woods, and split the air with their wings. <laughs> and God said, that's good. <laughs> then God walked around. And she looked around on all that she had made. She looked at her sun, she looked at her moon, she looked at her little stars, she looked at all her world with all its living things, and God said, 
I'm lonely still. So God stepped over to the edge of the world where she could think. By a deep river she sat down with her hands in her hands. She thought and she thought until she thought I'll make me a man. <laughs> Up from the bed of the river, God scooped the clay. And by the bank of the river, she kneeled her down. And there the great God Almighty, who lit the sun and fixed it in the sky, who flung the stars to the far most corner of the night, who rounded the earth in the middle of her hand. This great God, like a mammy, bending over her baby, knelt down in the dust, <coughs> toiling over a lump of clay, until she shaped it in her own image. Then into it, she blew the breath of life. And man became a living soul. Amen. Amen. <laughs>